How's it going everyone, Liam Catterson here as we are on episode number 17 for Attack on Titan and we're going to begin a brand new arc which is the 57th Expedition Beyond the Walls. Um, yeah, we spent a few episodes with the Eve before the counter uh, offensive and now we are making our move outside the walls back to where it all began. I'm really excited to see how, uh, where this does go. I'm not so sure. I, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be the final arc uh, until the very, very end of season one. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really um, stoked with what Attack on Titans has had to offer, especially um, in these past several episodes. It's just been very, very awesome stuff. Um, especially last episode where we got to see... Um, we got to see a lot of people that we know and love join the Scout Regiment, which is really, really awesome stuff to see, including Jean, considering he wanted to join the uh, military, dis uh, the police district uh, way back when. And he had that struggle on what was the right thing to do. And uh, he eventually caved in and, joined and decided to join the uh, Scout. So that was really, really stellar stuff. Um and yeah, we had a a bit of focus on Marco in the last episode as well. Uh, even though he was he was gone, there was uh, that nice little tribute uh, towards him that this episode did uh, portray. So yeah, I really really am excited to see what does happen here uh, from here on, especially since there is that uh, prospect that Erwin has something up his sleeve, um, because Armin did point out something. Uh, unless there must be something more. Uh, like something's going on in his mind and uh, he had that talk uh, the prior episode as well uh, before um, episode 16 should I say uh, to that dude Mike I think he was called yeah so um, there is I'm really really interested to 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 going into more of him um, as well as this expedition so with that said let's kickstart this expedition with episode number 17 for Attack on Titan let's go I did it right this time because I mucked that up last time. Come <laughs> on, Sasha. Just keep riding, peeps. Huh? てめえ、この1ヶ月間何してやがった。いい格好書き。おお、ボーイ、here <笑> It's just the nerves, okay, okay. Really love that silence. Oh, okay, dokey. Oooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
Oh, this one's... This one's small. Okay. <laughs> so a human in the... T so that's a human operating a titan like Eren is the implication it seems to be. Okay. Whew. Oh, dang. Oh, it's the skeletal fingers. Get clarity. Oh, this is someone on my team. Because if it's like Eren. What if that's Annie? Because I think she looks a bit similar to. <laughs><笑><笑> My, maybe self. Yeah, to kill. It, maybe it's a self uh, defense reaction. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, it will, it will. He's really going all out. Oh, Sean. This is what I love to see. Good on Sean. He is really becoming one of my favorites. Yeah, they would, they would definitely, um, be your best hope, but... Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh, poor Armin! Gonna notice Armin and be like, Oh, it's you again! Yeah. Oh. Good on Armin. Good on Armin. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! What? <laughs> She's popped his head. Oh no! Oh! I thought she popped his head like a zip. Crying out loud. And on her way. That's not it. Wait, it wasn't Erin? Yeah, I was gonna say, it wasn't Erin that? Okay, so she's definitely going to Erin, right. Because I was thinking, he's at the center here, isn't it? Because they were mulling over. Okay, well, Erin's supposed to be there, so. Yeah, I have a feeling she's Arnie. Like, I don't know. There's. Her face does look familiar for some reason. And if it's another one of the, the cases of. Um. If it's a if it's a case of a human titan that we've got going on once again, where we have um, someone piloting a titan's body, just stop that. Um, if it, if it's a human piloting a titan's body, um, then that could 
be the case of because uh, she off she didn't join the the um scouts did she she i think she was one of the only characters that we i think she was one of the only characters that we know because uh, there was characters that we know and love like jean like like a lot of people connie they decided to stay around um and join but Annie didn't, so it would make sense that while, like, whilst they can't like keep an eye on her, basically she can transform into this Titan. But, uh, I could I could be wrong. It's just that she looks so familiar. Um, uh, her face does look so familiar, but it could be a coincidence. But then again, it could not. So yeah, but we'll just have to wait and see. But that was very tense. I thought Rhino was was done for though. Like as soon as she pressed her thumb on his head well the plan was for that to happen it looked like but i thought that was it because that would because this show doesn't shy away of course from the horrific murders that we that we do see but thank goodness for reiner like he's a very very reliable character as armin said like oh mikas is great but reiner is as well so yeah so that's the hunch for me that our female titan is annie um which which would make sense with her like um confronting um armin in the last episode should i say um and then the first person that creates this um strange feeling like wait because because titans are supposed to eat others and all that jazz but she revealed the hood she peeked at who was under the hood it was armin and she was like oh so and then she just decided to waddle off and same again when they uh confronted her in that fight so uh she she wasn't really faced by armin whatsoever so um i'm wondering if that little bit of talk in the last episode kind of foreshadowed things uh to come with now we have our female titan but it could but i could be wrong it's just that her uh, her appearance, um, face-wise, does does bring me um, it 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 does bring me recognition. So, um, yeah, that's why it could be a coincidence, but you never know. Especially with the fact that um, especially with the fact that she is looking for Aaron. So them to have a thing in common, and there are other. Uh, intelligent titans out there like i think the armor titan was intelligent and i think the colossus titan yeah um but if it's looking for erin specifically maybe it's got something to do with like you're like me uh you are like there there are two forms of you there is titan you and then there's natural you so um Maybe the Titan and like maybe she wants to like what now that she realizes what she is potentially because this might be her first time like if it's Annie it, this might be her first time turning into a Titan uh, and she might want to talk things out with Erin or whatever or I have no idea the hunch is she's looking for Erin and uh, that's that's basically um, that's basically the gist of it so yeah. Uh, but yeah, this was pretty action packed, uh, with things just falling apart, and uh, I really loved the. Great, I'm just knocking my mic. Uh, I really loved the strategical stay there, um, aspect of this episode. They were going over the tactics, like especially with the uh, flares and uh, the formation that they were up, uh, uh, that they were lining up. It was really, really um. Uh, mesmerizing stuff and i loved some of the like um visuals and the audio effects like um the silence when armin was composing himself that just stillness no breathing no horse trotting it was just silence as he was composing himself uh the crawling titan uh the one that was doing basically the crap crab walk to to sasha that was very very intense um thankfully there was a tree nearby and uh, it wasn't as intelligent as as your intellectual titans uh because he walked straight into that one but uh, it was still very very intense i've like we've seen some very very intense titans before in this show but like that one was like oh especially since it was chasing after one of the one of the best peeps uh on this uh show sasha um 
but yeah, there was some nice strategy being pulled. Armin's intellect um, shining once again. It's, he was fear, like he was putting two and two together, thinking, well, what if there's a human behind this? Because uh, it's acting a lot more smarter than your average Titan. It's no aberrant. It's um, like it was very, very um, aware of uh, where it was being targeted. And you saw later on in the episode, she had a... Uh, she had a like hand covering the weak spot. So, uh, whereas your fe- your natural share of titans are like, poof, yeah, we go. And then once it captures a human, it's like, there we go. Uh, whereas she was she was not taking anything, and it was like, um, well, she does kill, but I think it's an act of self defense, especially if she's looking for Eren, and you've got these people who are trying to stop you. And it's like, I don't want to... We know Annie's really aggressive as well, going back to episode four as well. So that will be amplified into a Titan form if she is. But either way, if 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 this Titan is looking for Eren and you've got these people trying to stop you, then it's going to be annoying and you just want them out the way forever. So you're going to kill them. Um, but she has her restraints. Like, um, she is... Um, she resonates with Armin especially, um, so because he tried to distract her by saying "you killed my friends," ah, 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 as uh, as uh, the others would take advantage of that situation. And uh, yeah, that was a, some really really smart play from Armin as well. But yeah, like I said, I really really am glad that we did get a bit of focus, like with Jean and Armin together, like the t- like the two smart. Um, characters of this group who might not be the bronze of 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 um the um of 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 uh, the characters but they are very very brainy when it comes to showcasing their abilities but um yeah it was really good that he came to the conclusion okay this is an intelligent uh titan um and it was really good to to um you know see him deduce where she could potentially be going because considering the information about uh where Eren is located uh, seems to be a bit inconspicuous between uh Reiner, Jean and and Armin. So yeah. Um and I've really, really loved it. I, it looks like the Titans uh followed the female Titan as well, uh when they uh destroyed that right formation. Like they must have suffered. Um like I don't think that yeah i don't think the female titan is in line with the um with with the titans and all of that jazz i think it's i think the titans are like following like they are aware they sense this rogue titan and uh like it's a, it's another case of erin again and they are following her and um, so she accidentally brought the fight to the right formation and they suffered from an accident so um yeah but she's desperately wanting to get to Eren so and and if they're going to sense a, fe- a, a a female titan a rogue titan potentially like like um uh, not Armin Eren um then uh, yeah they will follow and uh like I said sadly um a bunch of people suffered from that but um it was really really good I also loved some of the um um going back to the tactics like uh ness and sis i think they were like uh they realized they were on flat terrain it wasn't at- advantageous and they managed to make it work in fantastic fashion because one of them went for the legs and then the other went for the killing blow so yeah um but yeah it was really good i'm really excited to see where this does um it, like where this does continue now that the female titan is looking for erin uh as as um as Armin has deduced, but um, it should be very, very fun stuff because, um, because I, we, like I said, I have those theories that she could be Annie, but I could be wrong. It's just that she does look eerily similar to, to um, Annie. And uh, if this is another case of a human um, basically piloting a Titan's body, then why not? And the fact that she isn't with the, with the, with the, um, survey core um is very very skeptical so yeah but um either way it's a case of another irregularity for the titans like they're not that they're not like this female titan is not exactly against the humans but she will act out if she is provoked 
Um, so yeah, um, which I think is, I, I guess, from a Titan, from from her perspective, uh, is is kind of understandable. You've got your objective, and it's kind of annoying. You've got these people being like, "No, we want to play," and she's like, "Go away, go away." So yeah, and like I said, the behavior of a Titan. Yeah. So um, it will be very very interesting to see where things do pick up regarding uh, her identity and what the deal is behind um, her her like existence, but. Um, that is for another time. But that said, that was pretty exciting. Action-packed. Things going to hell as your your normal Tuesday, basically. But it was pretty, pretty great stuff. So uh, I'm really excited to see what does happen next time. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my Media Beats and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!